Gun Galleria here. So, this is the follow-up on the part one for this particular rifle. This is the one that's marked uh, 264 Berber. Um, again, uh, if you see my previous video, it was a uh, Shalin barrel with a Federal Ordnance receiver, Model 98 type receiver. These were imported back in the 1980s and were typically seen in 308. Now, somebody had rebarreled this action with a uh, barrel that they had Shalin make, uh, bore and everything, and chamber, but the chambering wasn't a Shalin. Um, typical caliber okay they don't have any records of it i did talk to them uh, so barrel is definitely theirs they agreed that this is definitely a barrel they made but the reamer probably came in by a customer for you know this barrel and then they would have sent it back so i'm having to kind of reverse engineer this whole thing uh so i did a casting of the chamber and something I noticed was very similar to was this and this is a 6.5 by 55 Swedish and the two are very similar in a lot of regards like the length of the case all of that matches up what doesn't is a shoulder. So this is a kind of a, a, a wildcat of the um, 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Now I've done a little bit of looking up on things obviously because it's kind of been my fun recently is trying to figure this thing out. There are two well-known 6.5 by 55s, the Swedes. One is the typical Swedish Mauser, like this one, 6.5 Swedish Mauser. The other is a Ackley Improved, or an Improved type of this. Now, this shoulder sits at a 30 degree angle, and the Improved sits at a 40 degree angle, much, you know, flatter kind of shoulder. This, according to my measurements, is sitting at a 20 degree angle, roughly. So you have 20, 30, and then the improved is a 40. So somebody decided they were going to change that from the 30 degree angle to a 20 degree angle by the looks of it. Um, typically, the, the, the 40 degree angle is on the improved is typically seen as giving more space in the body of the brass here uh, of a cartridge to have more powder more space for more powder and that's basically the, the principle of it is the more space you have in there the more powder you can put in the faster velocities you can get out of it now that was a principle based upon an older idea with older powders these days, you can get much more uh, modern powders that will burn much better than the ones that would have originally been used during the original time that the Ackley Improved stuff was going on. Um, there aren't a lot of different Wildcat cartridges based upon this, apparently. So somebody had decided they were going to do this. So I, I got this, and then I worked up the dimensions of the chamber and most if not all of these dimensions are very similar to the uh, 6.5 by 55. Uh, in order to get this longer neck uh, shoulder on this the case length the body of the case 
is technically shorter. Uh, in this case, it's 1.63 inches on the casting, whereas on your typical 6.5 by 55, uh, it is actually, I believe, 1.71. So it's been reduced down in order to make room for this longer shoulder. Now, you can't go, okay, well, I could fire form this. No, you can't chamber this. This will not chamber in the gun. And it's because when you're trying to chamber this, that shoulder here is hitting this angle much sooner. So you can't get a fully forward chambering. You know, you're hitting this before it will not chamber. So... And it, it, it actually kind of gets stuck in there. So this isn't going to work as, well, I'll just put this in. And, you know, like an actually improved, like my, my uh, 25 out 6, you can't just get the ammo, throw it in, you know, factory ammo, and shoot it, and you'll end up with fire-formed brass. So this poses a new situation where I have to find a way of getting brass formed to this shape. So there's a couple of possibilities. Custom dies. I know a few people who do hand loads who might be able to make this happen without having to order custom dies. Uh, essentially, we're starting out with brass. It just needs to be formed to match this chamber so yeah it, it, it's an interesting process but that is where we're at on a 264 berber a 264 berber is technically a um, modified 6.5 by 55 swedish with a 20 degree shoulder instead of 30 degree shoulder Otherwise, a lot of the dimension is the same. The base, um, it fits perfectly fine, you know, on the extractor and, and, you know, on the bolt face. It fits perfectly fine. But you can't chamber it. So that's the next step. So anyway, 264 Berber is a modified... 6.5 by 55 Swedish. Thank you for watching, and if I manage to get a chambering, you know, a, a, a set of brass done and some hand loads done, I'll see about posting uh, shooting this rifle. Thank you for watching.